today I come to you with another wonderful stack of papers. These papers were once inside a very full three inch binder. They are all of the paperwork required for the internship that I took last summer. I interned with Greenpeace USA doing video production work. It was fun, I learned a lot, the people there were great. In fact, the real only major downside of the whole thing was this. Thrilling chapters of the all this include Final Internship Project, Experiential Education Guidelines. There are some important post-it notes here detailing integral portions of the internship application process. This one says, print internship proposal. This one says, one cup snow peas, three spring onions, three garlic cloves. This is part of this fictional intern's proposal. They wish to learn how effective training materials are developed. They want to learn more about effective management skills. They want to improve their communication, critical thinking, and interpersonal skills. Oh, please, John Doe. Please, please improve your communication. Half of this is financial information about how to pay for your unpaid internship. On the backs and sides of every page, you can see signs of the madness that the internship workbook created. This is a flowchart that shows you how to decide what shoes to wear. Is there precipitation? Yes. What kind? Rain. Wear rain boots. That's helpful. Just to clarify, I don't think I wrote any of these notes during my internship. It was while figuring out how to do all the paperwork related to my internship. There are also some course materials in here from the end of my junior year. I took a really amazing course that semester on neo-paganism and contemporary witchcraft through the religious studies department. So after two pages of multiple choice and six pages of essays, I have this titled Extra Credit. It says, the best dog, Bob. The cutest dog, Bob. The dog with the best name, also Bob. And underneath my professor has written, all correct. I was not awarded any additional credit for that, which was disappointing, though expected. This form with lots of check marks on it is from when I was putting together a portfolio. Uh, one of my writing samples was a play I'd written the previous year titled The Vomit Play. And I remember when the professor looked this over, she sort of stared at me and said, if you're gonna put this in your portfolio, you might wanna change the title of that one. And I said, oh, okay. Never. At the very bottom of that pile, I found three pages of notes taken during my actual internship from the days when I guess I didn't sleep enough. In addition to inane ramblings, there are also some doodles. I named this girl Bialy. I think that's a type of bagel. Amid many a Mac computer shortcut, I have this little sentence. The many lies of autocorrect. I'm a boyfriend. No, I'm not autocorrect. Please respect my gender identity. I think ultimately what bothers me about this wad of paper is that it no longer has any use for me. I don't demand eternal usefulness from all my class materials. I mean, I wasn't surprised when I sold back my statistics textbook and throwing away my health class notes that mainly just said, smoking is bad, smoking is bad. Did you know smoking is bad? was uh, not heartbreaking in any way. I also remember an elaborate piece of art I titled No Babies. But the fact that all this is useless bothers me because internships are supposed to be like a practice job, right? But no, it's all like, this is who to email about getting a grade. How do I accept or reject job offers? Not really a pressing issue right now. All this information on how to write objectives. Yeah, if I'm hired, I don't think I'm gonna have to write two pages to my future boss about how I want to learn about what management is. As a former Greenpeace intern, there's only one thing to do with all this information. Recycling!